Thomas Manning tore through the woods, racing for his life, chased by a thunderous fire that poured its smoke and flames after him. He reached the lip of his precious hollow, and down, down he fell, tumbling over and over until finally, splash, he hit Shigwak's icy brook and lay under the freezing waters while above him the angry flames snarled and crackled and raged and passed on. In that opening scene of The Survivor, the second book in the Alfred saga, our hero did survive. But that was only the first of so many life-threatening challenges he had to overcome in order to make his home in the untamed wilderness behind these cliffs on the Gaspi coast. Just imagine lumbering in the sub-zero woods, chopping trees hardened into granite so that any axe might glance off and strike a fatal ah! blow. No doctors or nurses, of course, on this unexplored coastline. He changed his name to James Alford to avoid the lethal punishment of death by lashing for all who deserted His Majesty's Navy in the early 1800s. But then, when his 74-gun vessel, the Bellerophon, sailed back, into Chaleur Bay, James Alford still paddled directly out to it to save the life of a suffering friend, though it meant the end of his own. But our story is not all spine-chilling action. It's also a lovely romance. James Alford fell for the fairest woman in the land, a United Empire loyalist maiden in New Carlisle, but he had to fight against every obstacle and prejudice in order to win her hand. Did he do it? Well, of course, you'll have to read the book to find out. And to find out whether he survived the worst famine in Canada's history. After that fierce winter of 1816, the summer brought blizzards and deep frost, which killed crops up and down the Gaspi coast and even spread a blanket of white over Quebec City in mid-July. How James Alford survived that and faced the ultimate battle with bureaucrats to win a title to his land in his own beloved Chigawak is a heartwarming tale that will keep you on the edge of your cozy chair by your fire as you devour the second book of the Alford saga, The Survivor. <laughs>